All right, so everyone tells a white lie from time to time. The folks from bestlife.com compile a list of lies they claim they tell on a daily basis. Let's see if we agree. All right. The first one says, I'm almost there. Well, you're not almost there. It's going to be at least half an hour before you get to where your friends are waiting for you, but you still have to fudge the truth. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. I don't do that. If I, if I went to be 10 minutes, I say I'm going to be 10 minutes. If I'm yeah. going to be an hour, I say yeah. I'm going. But, I, but I'm always there because mm -hmm. we reach before all the people and where I keep the things. <laughs> I just saw these there, so I don't do that. All right, next one is... It must have gone to my spam, spam. folder. You well see the email, you forget to respond, you didn't have my money, and you tell me that you didn't get the email and the invoice, but it went to your spam folder. I can't pray you. I understand you. I tell a lie. I know who you are. I don't do that either. I don't... I'm... I'm I am sure I went to find one that I do, but I don't know that either. Because I hardly even go look for my email. I must have to tell people I never see. I don't All know. right. Uh, my phone died. My phone's been acting weird. I don't tell that either. This lie is great for explaining away basically anything. An email you ignored, a voicemail you never answered, or a text you sent and regretted. Just blame the phone. I don't do that either. Blame the phone. This one I, I think I could be guilty of in different spaces. It wasn't that expensive. I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of that. I, I've said it wasn't that when it was. Yeah. <laughs> Only then, because. And then that is relative to you know. Yeah. It's expensive. Hey. Relative. To some man. Yeah man. A ten thousand U.S. dollar shoe is nothing. Yeah. To us. A ten thousand Jamaican dollar shoe is too much. It's too much. So I mean I I yeah, you're I, right. I, I have said stuff like that. But yeah. as, again, it is relative. Yeah. A good one to break out when your partner asks how much you spent on that new jacket. It wasn't that Or one. shoes. <laughs> well, you're not reasonable. Um, you definitely couldn't afford them. I don't do that. I'm not going to buy anything I can't afford. But that's what credit cards are for. But I will say it really wasn't that expensive when I know that you thought that was expensive. Right. But I don't, I try, well, yeah, I don't know that. Mm -hmm. I'm almost finished and you haven't even started. Hmm. I don't do that. I don't think I do that. No. I'm soon come. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, my come. <laughs> it's so great to see. No, I'm getting too old to say that. You haven't seen this person for months, and if it was up to you, it would be years more before <laughs> you saw them again. But you bumped into them at a cocktail party, and hope you know, after actors have been trying hard to see them Sorry. in that time. I admit it, it's really not that great to see them. I don't do that. But what I do is someone say, you remember me? I'm going to say, yeah, man. Yeah, and man. I don't remember them. Yeah, man. And then, both guilty. <laughs> like his police now, you say, where you remember me from? Yeah, that is the worst part. <laughs> yeah. Now I tell so, people, don't do that to after me. After me don't say me remember you. Where do I remember you yeah. from? Someone say, you remember me, Sabel? I'm say, yeah, man. I'm oh, say, that's regular. Where? I'm gonna say, yeah, police. <laughs> yeah, Christian, Mister. But that I. No, do. you know what I say? Never in response to that. I say, why are you asking me where me remember you from? Are <laughs> you not remember where you meet me? That's why you ask for remember. <laughs> yeah, that, that. Yeah, I do that. I do that. Yeah. I'm good. I'm fine. As in, I'm good. How are you? It's the automatic response we give in almost every small talk exchange, whether with co-workers or complete strangers. You could be feeling hungover or fighting off a flu or just having a hard day, and you're going to say, I'm good. I do that. Mm. But I'm not certain if I do that for the reasons here. I do it in a very serious way because everybody has problems, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, my sinus bother me almost every day, all day. But mm -hmm. you have bigger problems than that. So when you say, yeah, right, I'm say, boy, my sinus and my thing, and mm -hmm. I can't bother that. So, mm -hmm. and, in a, and when I say I am good, I genuinely mean I'm good mm -hmm. because the sinus alone. You still have life. Yeah, I still have life and I move on. But, but you know what I don't like? And I think some people need to lie more when it comes to this. You see, when you're working in an, org an, org an, working in an organization and you have a team, you know, some people are sickly by nature. Yeah. Their mind is sick. They're always sick. They're not coming to work. They're always depressed. You have those kinds of people. Yeah. And it really corrupts the culture of the space. When you come into work and it's like, how are you? Oh, I'm having a bad day. Yeah. Lord, just lie and say you're good because we really never mean to ask <laughs> if we hear your whole life story. And I'm telling you all there. You all know who you are. All of you yeah, in my team. Yeah. Look, 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 that camera. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. them. Yeah, boy, yeah, look, you come and yeah, tell me all of your life problems. It's not the time. 
time and place when you come to start a job. All right? It corrupts the culture of the place. I'm telling you, yep. when you must tell a little, tur tur turn the response around to, I'm great, I'm fine, I'm excited about work. Even if you're not, talk about the other problems later after the yep. job done. Come on. And you only know who me I talk to. Some of my youth that work with me. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic was nuts. You've probably driven that route many times at Russia or off peak times, and you have a pretty good idea of how long it will take. Uh, to get from one place to another, yet you didn't leave your place until 20 minutes before you were supposed to be somewhere, and you knew it'd take 45 minutes to get to, but you blame the gods of traffic for your error. <laughs> well, anybody know me knows that I don't have to do that. Because you're always on time. On time? Early. Thank you. Before the time. <laughs> Thank you. I remember, me and my bona fide was working, was in jazz and blues, mm -hmm. and we were going live at 7 p.m., and he calls me at 2 o'clock. <laughs> Joke him around, you know, but if no mistake, I didn't say, anybody there with you yet? <laughs> <laughs> so he said, two o'clock, I didn't eat that. He said, no, you know, not yet. But I am usually, seriously, yeah. two, three hours yeah, early. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, two, yeah. three hours mm -hmm. early. So if I'm going on here, like here, uh, the show starts at six. Everyone, you ever come and notice me? Anytime they come, sometimes I put my car on the washstand. And they come in at 4.30, everybody say, wait, what happened to him? Where am I there? 4.30. <laughs> we see everybody will come and say, Oh, you know, so I'm here for a It's true. If you can take a page from Neville's book, I would definitely tell you, especially young people who look up to Mr. Bell, um, one thing that you need to take <laughs> from him, if there's anything, it is the fact that his punctuality, all right? Yeah. You need to take a page. And we have a lot of young people out there. We have to talk the truth, right? Yeah. They're in discipline. Yeah. They you don't know, want to turn up on time. And I, it's important. Man. I said I've never been late and I lie. There one was time. one single time in my life that wow. when we were moving from halfway tree to here, um, yeah, every time we go from halfway, when we were going from halfway tree to here, they kept having meetings here, and mm -hmm. they would come back and say, we're going next month. Next month, come, we don't go. Then they come another meeting and come back, we're going next month. So I say, you know, the next meeting I'm going to go. And I forgot. So I'm driving out, the meeting started at 4 o'clock, and I'm driving out exactly 4 o'clock. And I say, oh, the meeting. And I run back in, about five minutes late. Mm -hmm. And I stand at the back. And Mr. Spalling, God rest his soul, he was speaking. So when him done, him say any questions, so I'm going to put up my hand. And I ask a question, and him say, Neville, there's merit to coming on time. That is the first thing we deal with. <laughs> <laughs> him just say, that is the first thing we deal no, with. That's a point. You know, from that day, if I think I am going to be late, I don't go. Yeah. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. If you invite me to somewhere and I think I won't reach late, I just decide I'm not going. I don't want to walk. It's a very good discipline. So that's, that's very good discipline. I caught what's going around. I don't do that either. A what great you lie when you don't feel like going out or you want to skip work. Everyone else is getting sick, so why can't you? So I'm saying, President, have flu and she passed it on to me. And she did, actually. But I just never get uh, it. I, yeah, you, nobody's ever seen me with flu. So I don't know what me yeah, passed. Yeah, snuffling already. I'm, I've had some snufflings. You know flu, that? But I, I, I'm not, I, I, I don't, sick is not something that's a part of my vocabulary. Okay. You know what I mean? What's the last one? Last one is when people say, your baby's so adorable. And the child looks like a wrinkled old man or woman. <laughs> now, no, it's not funny. You know why I don't like this one? Because, because I've had people say to me, and it's just, I'm so sensitive about this one. It's funny how you say it, but I'm one of those, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. No matter how... Babies cannot be ugly. There's no ugly baby. And the problem I have... <laughs> no, the problem I have with people... People are actually... It's funny, but people do do that. They don't think the baby is cute and they lie. There are but no ugly what is, babies. There's no such thing Them as an ugly baby. Ugly. And ugly is inside. It's well, internal. No, That's no. where ugly starts. Let me look beautiful. Every child is born when an When I reach angel. about 10 or 11, you say, I see a baby like this. <laughs> <laughs> every baby is cute <laughs> and every god don't make no junk so stop calling baby them ugly there are no and thinking ugly them ugly babies. All All some babies people are some people say one that is ugly mother and father <laughs> not funny there are no ugly there are no ugly people on the exterior it's it's your heart and your mind that's ugly i want to just make that announcement because some people have a dirty heart and you're ugly all right don't judge people by how they look she miserably <laughs> More from the amazing <laughs> orchestra after this. Can we go her. dance with them, Neville? Uh, you, the pioneer one. Mm.